Good evening, everyone. Your first forecast is brought to you by Stored at Home Rent to Own Portable Buildings. We did have a few thunderstorms across some of our parishes, and we're going to see the possibility, maybe just a slight a chance of some rain for tomorrow. But during the day, it's going to be very steamy. It's going to be very hot. We do have the possibility of rounds of rain during the day as well as a cold front approaches. So over the weekend, we do have the possibility of thunderstorms both on Saturday and also on Sunday. But despite the cloud cover and the rain chances, Temperatures will stay warm. 94 degrees on your Saturday, 92 on Sunday, and we have more rain chances as we move into early next week. We'll have more details on that on ABC 31 News. Welcome to ABC 31 News tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Some residents of the Alexandria Zoo paid a visit to the veterinarian today for their annual checkups. ABC 31's Joanna Phillips has our really wild big story. Just like us, animals need regular health exams. Just like we go to the doctor periodically, they come to see me once a year just for an all around checkup. When we do their physical exams, we basically go over all of the body systems. So I look in his eyes, nose, mouth. Today, the Alexandria Zoo performed annual exams on a few animals. First up for an exam was a black crowned crane. This is Wazi. He's a male uh, African crowned crane. We do keep the feathers on his wings trimmed so that he is not able to take unnecessary adventures. Um, it doesn't hurt them at all. It's the same as us getting our hair cut or trimming our fingernails. And next, four Madagascar giant hognose snakes who required a little more work for their exams. With the reptiles, um, they do have a heart that beats that could be heard, but because of the thickness of their scales and kind of the constant muscular motion, uh, underneath there's a lot of artifact when you're trying to listen, so we don't actually use the stethoscope to check for heart rates and respiratory rates. We more do a visual of watching them breathe. Um, a lot of times you can actually see their heartbeat depending on how still they're being. Not too many can say they enjoy health exams, humans or animals. But with the Alexandria Zoo being accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, these animals receive care of the highest standards. There is a, an entire list of standards that AZA expects you to meet or exceed in order to be accredited, but it does ensure the best possible care for the animals that we have. Only the best possible care for the over 160 animals at the area's largest year-round family attraction. Joanna Phillips, ABC 31 News. Three women have been arrested in connection to prostitution cases at two Alexandria massage parlors on Jackson Street. There are 61-year-old Wei Holm, who is charged with pandering, money laundering, and racketeering. 55-year-old Jun Su and 54-year-old Yangtze Wang, both accused of prostitution by massage, as well as pandering, money laundering, and racketeering charges. Police say the incidents happened at Asian Zen Spa and at Body Works, though both are owned and operated under Asian Zen Spa. Police say more than $20,000 was seized in that raid. Rapids deputies rearrested a man already in jail for a burglary on Schoolhouse Road. 27-year-old Micah Chris Bravell had been arrested by APD for break-ins of vehicles around the city. Deputies say they connected him to their case when an off-duty patrol officer found him in the area of the victim's homes. The fourth annual Dancing with the Stars Senla Style is coming up next month. Ten couples from across the Senla area are practicing their routines as they prepare for the big competition. Dancing with the Stars is a um, community event that um, benefits Alexandria Country Day School and provides a lot of funds for enrichment programs through um, the, a lot of interactive programs and they're uh, developing a outdoor classroom this year that they're going to uh, use some of the benefits for. In addition to that they're doing an interactive learning experience which is kind of a new trend in education. There's ten couples and they are judged by, there's three judges on the panel and they judge based on the way the dance is approached to the audience, how it's presented, and what they do in the dance. 
So it's a little bit different twist than what you see at a normal dance competition. Dancing with Stars Sun Law Style will take place on September 6th at the Alexandria Riverfront Center. You can go online to the Alexandria Country Day School website to purchase tickets, to vote, and see those participating couples. Yesterday evening, the Alexandria Museum of Arts held a sampling event as they prepare for their annual craft brews, barbecue, and blues fundraiser tomorrow. Crafts of or samples of craft brews were and served to everyone to give a little taste of what's to come for the big event on Saturday. The fundraiser will take place at the Alexandria Museum of Art starting at 6 tomorrow evening. We've knocked on doors. Do you feel badly at all? Relentlessly pursued the bad guys. Demanded transparency in our food supply. Do these chemicals leach into your body and uncovered innovative ways to boost your health? Investigated true crime cases to make sense of tragedy. Change is happening here. Our journey is just beginning. The Dr. Oz Show season premiere, September 17th. Welcome to season 10. Dr. Oz, weekdays at 11 on KLAX TV. Well, welcome back, everyone. Those temperatures soared into the upper 90s today. We did see plenty of sunshine, but there were some showers and thunderstorms that moved through uh, the parish, and they were very spotty in nature, very hit and miss. And we're going to see hit and miss showers for tomorrow, but we do have the possibility of rounds of rain this weekend. Our heat indices will be up to 106 degrees, so it's going to be quite hot, even though those temperatures are going to be just a tad cooler. It's going to feel so much hotter than that because of the humidity. We're going to stay hot and steamy through the early part of next week. We do have more rain chances as well. And our rain chances, though, will start to taper off a little bit by the middle of next week. So we should see a little bit more sunshine as we head into uh, your Wednesday of next week. High temperatures today, 98 degrees in Alexandria. In Leesville, around 94 degrees. Natchez, around 92 degrees. So temperatures uh, were just a tad above normal. Our dew point. Still in the mid 70s, and they're not moving anywhere, and that's because we have an influx of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's just keeping things very steamy across the region. We do have a stationary front well to at the north. This frontal boundary will continue to move southward as we approach the weekend, and so we do have increasing rain chances this weekend. There could be a few showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, and then more chances of rain for your Sunday. So here's a look at what you can expect tomorrow. Steamy air. Once again, I think the bulk of the rain will be to our east, but with the afternoon heat and humidity, that could give us a few showers and a few thunderstorms and then increasing rain chances as that cold front gets a little bit closer to our area. Our future radar is showing we're not going to see a lot going on tonight, but then showers and thunderstorms will start to pop up uh, just to our south and also to our north. And then as the cold front comes in by Saturday afternoon, there could be a few thunderstorms that move in to the northern portions of the state and maybe even drift southward into our area. So we do have chances of rain, better chances of rain as we head into the weekend. But overall, it's still going to be very warm out there. Temperatures around 94 degrees for the afternoon high, but it will feel like 106 degrees. Here's a look at your forecast. Temperatures tonight drop down to around 74 degrees, partly cloudy skies, a few isolated showers. Occasional storms tomorrow with highs around 94 degrees. And your seven-day forecast calls for slightly cooler readings by early next week. Highs around 92 for your Sunday and Monday. Better chances of rain with another system coming through Monday and Tuesday. We drop down to around 90 on Tuesday. And by next week, we could see highs down into the 80s on Thursday with a little bit more sunshine. That's a look at your seven-day planner. Scott? All right. Thank you, Kim. Google is clarifying how it tracks users even when location history is turned off. And people have raised millions for charity on Facebook birthdays. Jane King is at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's tech reports. Google updated a help page for its location tracking tools as after the company's data collection practices had come under fire for being what some critics called misleading. So Google now says some of people's location activity can be stored on Find My Device app or on Google Search and Maps. The backlash over Google's location history underscores how much scrutiny the tech giants are under for their data-hungry business practices. Well, Facebook birthday fundraisers have raked in $300 million in the first year. Facebook's head of product for social goods has more 
more than 750,000 nonprofits can receive donations via Facebook. Now, charities to receive the most money include the Alzheimer's Association, St. Jude, the American Cancer Society, and the ASPCA. Netflix has signed another big ticket producer. Variety says Kenya Barris, the creator of Blackish, has signed a three year deal worth $100 million. He will create series exclusively for Netflix. And the top 10 highest paying jobs in the U.S. are dominated by tech. But the top three are actually in healthcare, with physician being the highest paid. The top paying tech jobs include enterprise architects, software development managers, software engineers, and also software architects, with the lowest average base salary still being well over $100,000. From the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King with your tech report. What causes autism? Doctors wish we knew, but a clue might be found in a pesticide that hasn't been used for decades. With this Medical Minutes, here's our Let's Signs. A pesticide's job is to kill bugs. Now a new study from Columbia University Medical Center published in the American Journal of Psychiatry says that higher blood levels of some chemicals from long-banished pesticides in a mom's blood may be associated with autism in children. The Environmental Protection Agency phased out these specific pesticides like DDT years ago, but small amounts still linger in the soil. Moms with high levels of pesticide DDE had a 32% higher chance of having children on the autism spectrum. The point here isn't to scare moms. There is no way to monitor how much of these chemicals may be in your blood or where it comes from. This study doesn't suggest these pesticide residues from long ago cause autism, just that they might be connected to it. The hope is that this study contributes to the understanding of autism, a piece in the puzzle, and every bit of information helps. Coming up, NSU football coach Brad Laird talks about the progression of his wide receivers. Plus, a pair of Demon volleyball players earned preseason recognition this week. Nick has the details next. This fall, the balls are back. <laughs> With all the bumps. Are you ready to rock? Bounces. That did not look good. And wacky wipeouts. This looks really bad. Where everyday people go daredevil crazy. Oh my gosh, she made it! In outrageous battles for big bucks. That did not feel good. Wipeout Weekends, coming this fall. Saturdays on KLAX TV. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Nick Frank. One position that NSU football coach Brad Laird was looking for major improvement this offseason was a wide receiver. And over the first few weeks of camp, Coach Laird has been pretty happy with the progress. Oh, you see a more consistent group. Uh, you see things really coming together, you know, whether it's new guys that, uh, that have stepped up, uh, incoming freshmen or transfers, or guys that have been here that are getting more comfortable within the scheme. Um, so you're seeing a lot of guys that, that have really stepped up and going to play a pivotal role as we move forward. If you continue to do the right thing, you're going to put yourself in position to have the opportunity to make plays. And I say opportunity because you still got to make them. And those guys have taken advantage of that. For the first time since 2014, the NSU volleyball team has placed multiple players on the first team preseason all conference squad. Reigning conference libero of the year, Channing Burleson, and outside hitter Reagan Rogers were named to the 12th player first team. They were the only demons among the 18 conference players honored. Both Rogers and Burleson were also first team academic all conference selections as well this season. Now, that duo of Rogers and Burleson, along with the rest of the NSU volleyball team, will play host to Louisiana Tech tomorrow for a little exhibition match. Lady Demons are coming off a 15 win season, their most since 2014, and expect to take another step forward this year. Following tomorrow's exhibition match, the Demons will open their regular season next Friday at Texas Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. The sexiest curve on your entire body is your smile. And women can be beautiful and smart at the yes. same time. Strong, confident, kind. I love that you are authentically you in every way, shape, and form. And I think that freaking is awesome. Weekdays at 2. The Rio! On KLAX TV. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV.